has been ranked one lead for every act in Asia. What everyone says about Crimea is true. If you want to learn how the future Valorant aim diffs everyone in VCT Pacific, then watch this video. Today, we're going to fully break down the mouse grip and posture of Primi. This has been one of the most requested posture checks, so I decided to check him out. He actually has a pretty unique mouse grip that I rarely see in professional play, and I call it the Primi Side Claw. And this grip alone can be quite demanding on the wrist and hand, but I'll get to that in a little bit because we should start with how he sets up with his mouse and keyboard. He has a staggered keyboard and mouse position, and this is similar to some of the other pros like Aspas. With a small tilt of the keyboard, he creates a lot of space for his mouse hand to move. Primi's elbows rest on the armrest, which can offload his shoulder, and the wrist contact can sometimes cause irritation of the palm-sided tendons that control the keys, especially at that elbow angle. So the keyboard creates space so he can aim and use the Primi side claw. Primi's grip is unique because of his palm contact on the mouse. He uses the pinky side of his palm to stabilize the grip. So to try this, place the side of your palm on the mouse. This will leave some of the mouse coming out from the sides. And you'll notice the mouse is not centered or aligned with your wrist, but closer to your fingers. From there, you're going to place your ring and pinky fingertips on the side of the mouse and the index and middle finger towards the edge of the left and right mouse buttons. Then raise the knuckle of the index and middle finger like this. The pad of your thumb is going to be providing that inner stability of the mouse. Primi's side claw grip gives them similar control to the Zaiwu twist grip, but it looks completely different. Both grips have points of contact that are closer to the optical sensor, which can increase the perception of control. But not only that, because his mouse is tilted, there's actually more side-to-side -side stabilizing forces for the mouse. Primi pushes the mouse into the side of his palm with his ring and pinky finger for stability, while providing that thumb pad contact towards the front of the mouse. This leverages some of the larger muscles at the forearm and uniquely this muscle here and prioritizes some of the thumb muscles in his hand. This provides a lot of stabilizing pressure to hold the mouse, which in turn provides a lot of control and is likely how he's clearing everyone in scrims. He has truly discovered a biomechanical advantage with this style of grip, but that doesn't mean there aren't trade-offs. As you might have noticed, the mouse is not centered and is actually far away from the wrist. And because it is outside of the midline of the wrist towards the pinky side, it will actually increase the use of these muscles here and is actually one of the more common pain regions that we've seen in Valorant. I pray that he never gets an injury, but if he does, Primi sits in a more rounded position overall and his arm is actually extended out a bit from his body. Similar to most pros, he uses his wrist for smaller angle flicks and shoulder for larger angle flicks. This rounded position can definitely put him at risk for some neck issues and headaches. So where does Primi stack up on my tier list? With the high potential strain of this grip and a bit of rounding, he actually falls into B tier. Similar to Kesnit, while the grip does provide some increased control, there are definitely some trade-offs in terms of potential risk of strain. And he's also similar to Ospos in that he has some of that left wrist pressure associated with his arm rest position. So throughout this grip and posture review, I listed a bunch of muscles that he uses when he plays for up to 8 to 10 hours a day. Our muscles need to be able to handle that amount of repeated stress over an 8 to 10 hour period to avoid pain or injury. And this is a really common cause of wrist pain with gaming. So if you do want to learn a few exercises you can do to prevent injury, or if you're already feeling some stiffness, check out our free wrist pain guides or join our Discord. So if you want to try this grip without the risks, make sure you perform the right exercises to strengthen the muscles that are being utilized so you prevent any risk of repetitive strain. And if you want access to a free wrist and hand dominant physical routine, check out the link in the description. And remember, like any of the other mouse grips and postures, experiment to see how you like controlling the mouse. You might find that it's not for you or it's the best for your own individual setup, your own ergonomics, your own individual anatomy. And if you want to check out more of these types of grips and checks, please check out the videos in this playlist here or here, maybe here.